Project Meteor is back on track. There was two main problems. First of all, the glue plug heater had a small problem because the circuit board was kind of... Uh, uh, it was still working, but couldn't output the kind of power the glow plug required, which is weird because it did back when it was brand new, but now it still outputs some power, but not as much as it needs to start. So for the meantime, I'm probably just gonna take something like a hot shot here and just shove it in there for the start. And the other thing is that this is just temporary, so I can test it, but uh, I think the this small gear, I think it was too big, so like too much speed rather than too much torque, which is what I need for something like this. So I changed the main spur gear and the, the clutch bell. Uh, so now it should have a better gear ratio. I also replaced the exhaust, which was, uh, well, you may have seen the photo of it melted. Now it's a copper uh, expansion pipe that I sort of welded together. I'm surprised at how well it went together. It's a bit hard to see. Hopefully I have something to show you. But it should it should sound a lot more rowdy. Uh, this is probably the equivalent of having a race pipe instead of like the original one, which is more uh, mild. So this should sound even fancier. I still need to put uh, the sharks on. But apart from that, it's complete and it's ready to go. Let's go and try to start it. Alright, update. Uh, excuse the mess, but uh, I wasn't out of gas. It turns out that it was just a bit too uh, too much on the lean side. Like I had my hands full of stuff so I couldn't pick the camera on film as well. But I sort of blew out the... the uh, this is the old gen hard plastic A-arms and now I'm using uh, softer uh, arms and I've never broken the newer one, but these are still the old ones plus there was no shocks So I'm not too worried. It's gonna be easy to replace Pretty much just drop in. It's gonna work this way there. All right I swear it's going to work and you're gonna have a full-on video on how this thing rips because it's pretty good Once it gets going to get it to start. It's a bit tough, but this thing rips around pretty good. So all right. Thanks for watching I will not be defeated. It snowed last night. This thing, batteries charged, front ends replaced. Everything's been fixed except for the glow plug. That's gonna be for a later time. But everything's working, so I say we go for a rip now. Alright, so I just uh, stopped using it for a second and I can put my thumb over here. I can keep it there, but uh, I cannot permanently keep it there. So it's very close to like 50 degrees or so 45 to 50 degrees. I don't have the time gun with me, but that's pretty acceptable for something that's like capable, I would say. This is pretty, pretty nice to drive around. So the problem apparently was the glue plug. I replaced it with a new one. It's uh, running a lot better, so it was a pretty simple fix. Oh, I'm 
really low on gas too. All right, I'm calling it good for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you liked it. I knew I could do it. Just a matter of pushing more. So, thanks for watching. Bye.